Greetings. Not sure if this is going to work, but I'll give it a go. It's Lawrence KL7L here in uh, uptown Wasilla, Alaska, and we're going to do some maintenance on our antenna systems today. It's uh, not snowing yet, but we do have new snow on the top of the mountains uh, already, and it's uh, only July, so this, uh, these things do happen. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the antenna, the uh, camera around and take some shots of some of the we're doing here and some of the work that we've uh, been working on last couple of months. We've been uh, pretty low on the output when it comes to uh, YouTube videos. So anyway, here we go. Get seasick. So the first thing we can do, we've been working on is uh, the insulators for this uh, Marconi. The Marconi is my MF, that's my 475 kilohertz antenna and we're going to clean these uh, it's insulators there's fairly high voltage on this uh, array probably a few thousand volts it's a short antenna so lots of volts so we've uh, taken this down pretty interesting through the woods there you can't really see much but we've actually got the uh, the main Marconi down and we're going to go marching through the undergrowth to show the uh, the next antenna wild geraniums I don't know if you or anybody's into uh, into wildlife they're just coming to the end now we've uh, just starting uh, fireweed season and this is a clock an Alaskan clock uh, when the time that uh, we uh, get to the top up here that's the end of summer so the clock has started so I'm gonna probably trip up on myself anyway we're doing some work preparatory work for the Perseids meteor shower and you may ask yourself what the heck are we doing worrying about the Perseids which is normally meter, meteor reflections on VHF uh, but we're looking to see if there's any uh, reflections down on low frequencies down into the 2 and 300 kilohertz and we built this uh, second uh, 10 foot diameter shielded loop which is uh, Got a little amplifier in it here. Where are we? There we are. And everything's, as you can see, sprayed up with uh, like a bitumen composite to stop water. Amplifiers in here. The power gets fed up from the center of the coax. Uh, this is a common mode choke, which is uh, wound around the coax to stop the noise uh, from the shack, the radio room coming up the outer of the coax and getting superimposed and down the bottom here we have one of those cheap or not so cheap TV rotators and we can rotate the antenna and we're actually going to do is null one of the NDBs non-directional beacons one down in Homer Alaska down on the coast in Kachemak Bay and the other one is ALJ on two what is it two three three kilohertz off Henshinbrook Island a couple of hundred miles away and we're looking for nice stable ground wave signals and we'll actually null the signal uh, completely hopefully on one of these uh, here and then another loop through down there one on each receiver and we'll look for signals suddenly appearing out of nowhere when the antennas are in the in the null situation so we're actually receiving a reflection from a meteor trail um, which is off the null point. Well, that's the theory. We've been doing this now for nearly a year and a few meteor showers, but nothing set has uh, worked yet. But this is uh, this is old brooms and a center point there, and uh, using scaffold chobes mounts, uh, if you like, there or post mounts. So that's uh, that's the new that's new this year. In fact, I just finished this two days ago and it's working fine. So next, uh, I'm going to go wandering down through the woods here. It's four minutes, 25 seconds already. Watch me trip up. There we go. <clears throat> you can see some wonderful wildlife while you're at it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go through that way because I'll probably kill myself. <clears throat> So it's uh, July here, which is sort of the, the top end of the uh, the summer period. Things have been growing quite well, and uh, we're doing some pruning. There's that old hex beam up there that we've got a few videos on. 
and uh, still working great by the way. And this is the uh, quad filer satellite uh, antenna for the uh, NOAA satellites, which works really well. Again, there's a, a preamp inside that tube there, so we can use cheap RG6 coaxes. So, wander down towards the lake. As ever, I sound like I'm out of breath. And this is a, a rehash version of a, uh, a project I did a couple of years ago. Uh, these are two loops. There's one that way, and there's one that way. And they're screened. It looks like uh, we got tape, copper tape around all of them, and there's a gap at the top up there so the tape doesn't go all the way around, otherwise there'd be no signals. And each one of those loops is fed into a low noise amplifier uh, down there. This is how they connect, like uh, they're just using coax and the screen is bonded to the, uh, so each coax is its, uh, each side of the loop is connected down to the low noise amplifier and inside there uh, we can feed the signals up a pair of Cat5 the cables, one pair for one loop and one pair for the other loop. And we can feed those into Spectrum Lab software. And we can use this for direction finding where signals come in on VLF. And it's not bad. We can pick up uh, most of the stations around the globe. A lot of lightning at the moment. But of course, the nice thing about this is it's, it's, it's sort of directional. You know, it's, it either receives that way or it receives that way. And off the sides of the loops, uh, you can uh, do some wonderful nulling. So that's one project that we've resurrected. There's a little earth post. And if we wander down here, it's the second project. Now this is a, a project that uh, was spurred by DK7FC, Stefan. And uh, is it Heidelberg? I never get the right location. This is where I will trip up if I'm not careful. Um, University Heidelberg. And this is, uh, again, an uh, uh, ELF receiving antenna. This is a 10 foot, uh, sorry, a 10 meter SOTA beams uh, mast with a wire going up it. Here's the wire. And it goes into this very low noise amplifier. <laughs> and we've bug built that. And uh, the, the aim, there's a very low noise uh, IC inside there. And it amplifies to the point, and, and we're ground down to the lake, uh, to the point where you can see the Schumann resonances. That's like the global resonance of the of the earth between the ground and the lower part of the ionosphere at 7.83 hertz yes hertz and then harmonics of that 14 uh, hertz and you go up and we can actually see i think four or five here so we can see 7 14 20 20 whatever it is up into the 30s into the 40s uh in fact this the major um the major resonance at 7.83 is actually one of the weakest and it's because we're actually close to the trees. It's a very high impedance antenna and so we get some of the imagined electrical field gets dumped by these trees which act as lossy resistors. Anyway, so Stefan did a great job and uh, we can receive uh, the Schumann responses which proves that the receiver is A, very sensitive and B, we're in a location which is very, very quiet overlooking a the lake there and if you look very carefully there's five or six swans anyway i'm coming up to my 10 minutes of boring everybody summertime activities at uh, kl7l there we go and uh, we'll wish you a very good afternoon here in uh, in late july seven threes kl7l